Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. Today I'm gonna show you an easy skillet bread or biscuits. You can say with veggies, corn flour. It's so easy to make, very delicious. You can make it in no time. Let's get started. I have half cup plain yogurt, half cup corn flour, a one and a half cup all-purpose flour, about third of a cup uh, string cheese. You can use a uh, kaşar or mozzarella and I'm gonna use two eggs you see one there but uh, just before I begin to make the recipe I decided to add one leek to make it more flavorful tasty and healthy so it will take one more egg there after I thinly slice my leek you can use uh, other vegetables depend on the season I think zucchini shredded zucchini or uh, carrots would work too I'm mixing the egg and the yogurt mixture and I'm gonna add the string cheese I have uh, you can also use white cheese it is versatile I just had it this one and it oozes well so delicious so I'm gonna add that adding the leek and the corn flour uh, first I added half cup but later on I'm gonna add uh, about quarter of a cup more and for the seasoning I have half teaspoon each salt uh, black pepper red pepper flakes and a one teaspoon dried mint if you have fresh herbs uh, you can add it would be nice in this recipe and along with the about a one cup flour I added a half teaspoon baking soda and three to four tablespoons just eyeballing olive oil and after mixing I see that with the leek added it will take one more egg it is just a matter of the uh, texture you want to look uh, it is somewhat sticky though I wanted to have so adding more flour I put all the ingredients under the description box below what I used in total as you can see it, it came out like a nice dough still sticky because it will help to uh, keep the moisture after it cooks so we want it to be a little bit sticky and my dough is done I'm gonna use this uh, non-stick pan but you can use your uh, skillet uh, heat it if you know that it doesn't stick uh, you can also make it in a bigger pan in one batch but since I'm gonna use smaller pan I'm gonna uh, cook it in two batches and after oiling I added the half of the dough and just drizzle some o uh, olive oil on top and then I'm gonna spread the dough to the pan for the cooking I'm gonna give you two options uh, you can cook it whole and then uh, turn it with the help of the uh, plate or another flat uh, lid or you can uh, cut it before you begin to cook I will do it in a moment I forgot to do it before uh, just slice it in the pan and then begin to cook it will be easier for you to turn the slices I'm cooking in a, a medium high heat first I close the lid so the inside also cooks well and in like less than five minutes it will turn into a nice brown crust and I wanted to add the uh, oil not too much but uh, just enough so I'm drizzling when I see it already soaked the oil and then turn over the slices and cook the other side
with the uh, corn flour and the leek it really gives a nice uh, crunchy taste deep taste actually as you can see it cooked well now also uh, puffed up a little bit with the help of the yogurt and baking soda we used I'm gonna uh, transfer it to my serving plate and cook the other batch The second batch was a little bit less than the first one so it came out thinner but I really liked it. It makes it more crunchy so it might change depend on the size of your pan you use and you can change the thickness by not spreading too much and decide if you want it to be more thinner or soft inside and here is the second batch done I know that uh, Turkish tea goes well but it was like afternoon and we usually drink a filtered coffee around this time so I made a coffee to go with it and the cheese in some parts melted cheese came to your mouth with all the uh, seasonings, the leek, it was very very delicious. I hope you try and uh, like it. It's good for breakfast, lunch or any time of the day. And I had this classic Turkish style cocoa and vanilla cake. Along with it, I'm gonna uh, share the recipe of it too. So stay tuned. You can share your photos with me from my Instagram account Turkish food recipes. I would be happy to see them. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and vlogs. Afiyet olsun.